A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So, he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts, I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else, it's useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because through excessive thinking they have lost touch with reality. That's to say, we confuse signs, words, numbers, symbols and ideas with the real world. Most of us would have rather money than tangible wealth and the great occasion is somehow spoiled for us and less photographed. And to read about it the next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. This is a disaster. For as a result of confusing the real world of nature with mere signs, such as bank balances and contracts, we are destroying nature. We are so tied up in our minds that we've lost our senses. Time to wake up. What is reality? Obviously, no one can say because it isn't words. It isn't material, that's just an idea. It isn't spiritual. That's also an idea, a symbol. Reality is this. teach your children to follow in the same track. See, what we're doing is we're bringing up children and educating them to live the same sort of lives we're living in order that they may justify themselves and find satisfaction in life by bringing up their children to bring up their children 
to do the same thing, so it's all wretch and no vomit. It never gets there. And so, therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? Well, when we answer that question in a naive way, we figure out that we want a desire, uh, well, what we want is to control it. To create girls that don't grow old, apples that don't rot, clothes that never wear out, conveyances that get from one place to another instantly so we don't have to wait, power available to do anything that you could conceive and do it just instantly like that. To get this funny technological omnipotence. But if you take time out to think about that, and really go into it with your full strength of imagination, and find out whether that's where you want to be, you will soon see that's not what you want. Because the moment you have a situation where you are really in control of things, that is to say in which the future is almost completely predictable. You will see, as I said last night, that a completely predictable future is already the past. You've had it. And that's not what you wanted. You want a surprise. You don't know what that's going to be, because obviously it wouldn't be a surprise if you did.